Hello everyone, thank you for joining me, I'm Kerry. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet a volcano, which was another request. When crocheted using 8-ply yarn and a 3mm hook, this one, the size is 19cm by 17.5cm or 7.5 inches by 7 inches. This medium volcano crocheted using 4-ply crochet cotton and a 1.5mm hook is 13 centimetres by 11.5 centimetres or 5 inches by 4.5 inches and the small volcano crochet using 2-ply crochet cotton and a 1mm hook is 10 centimetres by 8.5 centimetres or 4 inches by 3 and a quarter inches. I'll be using Katona cotton today so the size will be a bit smaller than this but I'll tell you the size at the end of the video. I'll be using Katona cotton today. I've got 281 Tangerine, 189 Royal Orange, 162 Black Coffee and 074 Mercury. I've got a 2.5mm crochet hook, scissors, a darning needle to weave in the ends and sewing thread and a needle to stitch it together. Now I'm starting on the bottom part of the volcano so I've got my 162, the black coffee and I work 21 chain. Now that's my 21 chain done. For row 1 I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each stitch to the end. I'll have 20 stitches. A single crochet is a double crochet using UK terms. For a single crochet we put the hook into the stitch, the second from the hook, and bring up a loop, put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through both loops. So we need one single crochet in each remaining chain. Now that's my 20 single crochet for row 1. For row 2 I start with 1 chain and turn my work. I work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and I'll have 22 stitches. So work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row three, we start with one chain and turn our work. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 24 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row four, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 26 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet in the last stitch. For row five, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 28 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 6 we start with 2 chain and turn our work. We're going to work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. A half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. For a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. We need one more half double crochet into that first stitch. Now we're going to work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two half double crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 30 stitches. So next we work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet into the last stitch. For row seven, we start with one chain and turn our work. We'll work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 32 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch.
For the weight, we start with two chain and turn. We're going to work two half double crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, two half double crochet into the last stitch, and we'll have 34 stitches. So work two half double crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two half double crochet in the last stitch. For row nine, we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 36 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work three single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work three single crochet into the last stitch. So after our three single crochet in the first, 
work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. I've got one stitch left. I work three single crochet into that last stitch. And that's the bottom of the volcano done, except for a neatening row. I'm not going to turn or fasten off. For the neatening row, I start with one chain and work one single crochet in the corner there and then I'm going to work a single crochet into each stitch up this side. I just find a suitable place to put my hook not too far from the edge and work a single crochet in each stitch. I try not to pull too tight so that my work stays flat. Now into the corner stitch I work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. So one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. And then I work one single crochet into each stitch along the top there. And I'll repeat like that. I'll work one single crochet in each stitch along the flat parts and into each corner I'll work one single crochet, one chain and one single crochet. So I'll work that until I get back to the corner. I'm back to the second last stitch. I work one single crochet in that stitch and then I work a single crochet in the corner stitch where I work my first single crochet then I work one chain and slip stitch in the top of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the bottom of the volcano. I'm starting on this top part of the volcano now. I've got my 281, the tangerine, and I work 7 chain. For row 1, I work 2 half double crochet in the 3rd chain from the, the hook. So 2 half double crochet, a half double crochet is a half treble using UK terms. Then I work 
one single crochet into each of the next two chains. Then one half double crochet in the following chain and two double crochet in the last chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. For a double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop. Yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through two loops yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. We need one more double crochet in that last stitch. For bow two we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our seven stitches. So a single crochet in each stitch. For bow 3 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have nine stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow four we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our nine stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn, we'll work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, we'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 11 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow six we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the eleven stitches.
For row 7 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet in the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 13 stitches. So work 2 single crochet into the first stitch and then 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. Work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row eight, we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 13 stitches. For row 9 we start with 1 chain and turn. We work 2 single crochet into the first stitch, 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work 2 single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 15 stitches. So 2 single crochet into the first stitch, then work 1 single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 10, we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 16 stitches. So work one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 11 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 16 stitches.
For row 12 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 18 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 13 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 20 stitches. So two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For row 14 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of our 20 stitches. For row 15 we start with one chain and turn. We work two single crochet in the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. We'll work two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 22 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch.
and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 16 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 22 stitches. For bow 17 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch, two single crochet into the last stitch and we'll have 24 stitches. So work two single crochet into the first stitch, then one single crochet into each stitch to the last stitch. and work two single crochet into the last stitch. For bow 18 we start with one chain and turn, we work two single crochet into the first stitch, then work one single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. So one single crochet into each of the next 13 stitches. Now we're going to work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. So we put our hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop and hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. We have three loops on our hook then we put the yarn around the hook and take the hook with this yarn at the end through all the loops. Now we're starting on this little section here. So for row 19 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the first four stitches.
and for row 20 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. Now row 21 is this end row there. We start with 3 chain. We miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch into each of the remaining 2 chain. For a slip stitch we put the hook into the stitch and bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. And we work a slip stitch into the last chain and then we spin our work around and slip stitch into the first row, first stitch sorry of row 20 so that stitch there work a slip stitch. Then we work two chain and we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook so at the bottom one there and then slip stitch into the next stitch on row 20 and then we work 3 chain we miss 1 chain and work 1 slip stitch into each of the 2 remaining chain and slip stitch into the next stitch on row 20 and then work 3 chain. We miss the first chain and work 1 slip stitch into each remaining chain. And slip stitch into the last stitch of row 20 and fasten off. And that's that first section done. I'll weave in the ends and then I'll be back and we'll work the next section. Now I'll start on this second section here now. It will be worked on the side where there's more stitches left. So I'll turn my work around and join in this stitch here the same stitch as the last one worked from section 1. And I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. So I put my hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop. I have three loops on the hook, I put the yarn around the hook and take my hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops. Then I work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches. For row two, I start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the four stitches. And for row three, I work one chain and turn and work a single crochet into each of the four stitches. Now we'll start on the little bits of lava at the bottom. So we start with three chain. We work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook.
and one single crochet. in the next chain and then we spin our work around and work a slip stitch in the first stitch of the row then we work two chain we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and then work a single crochet into each of the next stitch next two stitches of row 3 and then work 3 chain Miss the first chain and work one slip stitch into each of the two remaining chain. And slip stitch in the last stitch of row three. And fasten off. Now I'll weave in those ends um, just because it's easier for you to see. If I left them they'd just be flapping around and it would be a bit harder for you to see. So I'll weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll do this next section. Now for section 3 we join in the next stitch after our section 2. So this stitch here. and work one chain we work one single crochet in the same stitch as a chain and then one single crochet into each of the next three stitches now we should have three stitches left at the end to do this last section on. For row 2 we start with one chain and turn. We work one single crochet into each of the first two stitches and a joined single crochet over those last two stitches. For row 3 we start with 3 chain, we work a slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and work one half double crochet in the last chain. and then flip our work around and work a slip stitch in the first stitch of row 2 and then work 4 chain and slip stitch in the second chain from the hook and work one single crochet into each remaining chain and then slip stitch in the next stitch on row 2 and then work 2 chain we work a single crochet in the second chain from the hook and then slip stitch in the last stitch of row 2 and fasten off
Now I'll weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this last section and then we'll do a neatening row up around the top and then work these other sections on this other side. For this last section we join our 281, the tangerine, in the next stitch after section 3. So this stitch here and we work 6 chain We work one slip stitch in the second chain from the hook one single crochet in the next chain one half double crochet into each of the following two stitches and one double crochet in the last chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. And then we slip stitch in the last stitch, just in there, to join that section to our work. Now we're going to work one slip stitch in each stitch up to the top of the volcano. So we just put our hook into the stitch, bring through a loop and take it straight through the loop on the hook. If you have trouble with your neatening row, getting the hook in, it can be helpful to use a size or two smaller hook for your neatening rows. Now I'm going to do a bit more shaping along the top of the crater. I slip stitch into the first stitch along the top and work three chain. I work one double crochet in the first stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. one half double crochet into the next stitch one single crochet into each of the following two stitches a half double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet in the last stitch. And that's the top done. Now we're going to slip stitch down the side including the last and the side of the last double crochet.
and I slip stitch into the first stitch. Now I'm going to start on this section here and I work seven chain. I miss the first chain and work one single crochet in each remaining chain. And then I work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches along the bottom. And then I work eight chain. I miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next two chain. There are baby birds out on the veranda making a noise, they probably want to be fed. And then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches and one double crochet into each remaining chain that's a treble using UK terms Then we miss one stitch along the bottom and work one slip stitch into each of the next two stitches. Then work nine chain. We miss three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four chain. We work one treble in the next stitch. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. We put the yarn around the hook twice, hook into the stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook and take the hook with the yarn at the end through two loops, yarn around the hook, hook with the yarn at the end through two more loops, yarn around the hook and hook with the yarn at the end through the remaining two loops. And we need two more treble into the last chain and then slip stitch into the bottom of that first section just that chain where the first stitch was worked and fasten off And that's the top of the volcano worked.
I'll be back with the royal orange and we'll work the lava flow. Now for the lava flow we're going to start at the top. So I've got my 189 the royal orange and I work 8 chain. I work one half double crochet in the third chain from the hook. One single crochet in the next stitch. A joined single crochet over the following two stitches. One single crochet in the next stitch and one half double crochet in the last stitch. And then I work one chain and I'm going to slip stitch in the back loop of that first chain there. So just in there. And next I'm going to work down this side. So I work 13 chain. I miss one chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So miss one and then one half double crochet into each of the next seven chain. One single crochet in the following stitch and then two single crochet in the next stitch. And then work one single crochet into each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the back loop of the next chain along the bottom just in there and fasten off and that's that first part now I'll weave in those ends so it will be easier to, for you to see and then we'll be back and we'll do the next sections now for this next section we join three stitches up from the end stitch on the side. So this stitch here on the inside part. And we work eight chain. We miss one chain and work one single crochet into each remaining chain.
and then one single crochet into each of the next four stitches down the side of our first section. So just down along here. So four single crochet along there. Then we work four chain For row two we miss one chain and work one slip stitch into each remaining chain And then we spin our work around and we're going to work up the side there. We work one single crochet into each of the next three stitches up the side. And then we work ten chain. For row 3 we miss one chain and work one single crochet into each of the next three chain. Then two double crochet in the next chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. Then one double crochet into each remaining chain. And then spin our work around and we're going to work one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches on our main piece. And then one single crochet into the next stitch. And then work 16 chain. For row 4 we miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet into each of the next 3 chain. So miss 2 and then a half double crochet into each of the next 3. one single crochet into each of the next two chain two half double crochet into the next chain and 
and then one half double crochet into each of the following three chain. Into the next chain we work one half double crochet and one single crochet. And then work a single crochet into the next chain. And we leave the rest of the chain. Then we work six chain. For row 5 we miss 2 chain and work 1 half double crochet into each remaining chain. And then we flip our work around and work one half double crochet into the next two stitches along our main piece. Work one chain and slip stitch in to the same stitch as our last half double crochet and fasten off. And that's the piece so far. Now I'll just weave in those ends and I'll be back and we'll work this last section for down the side. For this last section down the side we join to the second last stitch along the top. So this stitch here and work 26 chain. We miss two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next five stitches. Then one double crochet into each of the next three chain. A double crochet is a treble using UK terms. Then work two double crochet into each of the next two chain. Then we work one treble into each of the following five chain. A treble is a double treble using UK terms. You put the yarn around the hook twice at the beginning of the stitch. So 
one treble into each of the next five chain. Two double crochet in the next stitch, that's a treble using UK terms. Then one half double crochet into each of the next two stitches. and then one single crochet into each remaining chain. and then slip stitch into the last stitch along the bottom and fasten off. And that's the larva flow finished. Now for the smoke I've got my 074, the mercury and I work 8 chain For row 1 I work 2 single crochet in the second chain from the hook one half double crochet in the next stitch a double crochet in the following stitch two treble in the next stitch a double crochet in the following stitch a half double crochet in the next one and two single crochet into the last stitch for row 2 we start with one chain and turn we work two single crochet into the first stitch and then work one single crochet into each stitch to the end we'll have 11 stitches And then we work three chain 
for bow three we miss one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 13 stitches. And then we work three chain. For bow four, we miss one chain and work one single crochet into each stitch to the end. We'll have 15 stitches. For row 5 we start with one chain and turn and work one single crochet into each of the 15 stitches. For bow 6 we start with one chain and turn. We work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then one single crochet into each stitch to the last two stitches. We'll work a joined single crochet over the last two stitches and we'll have 13 stitches. So after our initial join single crochet work one single crochet into each stitch till we have two left. and work a join single crochet over the last two stitches. For bow 7 we start with one chain and turn and work one slip stitch into each of the first two stitches. Then work a joined single crochet over the next two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each of the next six stitches.
and work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. For bow 8 we start with one chain and turn and work a joined single crochet over the first two stitches. Then work one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. And work a joined single crochet over the following two stitches. And for row 9, you could start with one chain or two chain and we're going to work a joined either single crochet or half double crochet over all the stitches. I might work a half double crochet this time. So for, for a single crochet you wouldn't put the yarn around the hook but for a half double crochet put the yarn around the hook, hook into the first stitch and bring up a loop and then yarn around the hook hook into the next stitch and bring up a loop, yarn around the hook, hook into the following stitch and bring up a loop, then yarn around the hook and hook into the next one and just repeat that for the last two, yarn around the hook and then hook in and then put the yarn around the hook and bring your hook with the yarn at the end through all the loops and then work one chain and that's the smoke done except for the neatening row. If you work to join single crochet across them all the smoke wouldn't be quite as high. Now I'm going to work a neatening row of two half double crochet into one stitch and a slip stitch into the following stitch and repeat that all the way around. So two half double crochet into the stitch and then slip stitch into the next stitch and then two half double crochet into the next one and slip stitch into the following one and I'll repeat that all the way around my piece I'm crocheting, crocheting over the top of the tail so I'm holding it against my work and crocheting over the top of it.
and I slip stitch in the bottom of the first stitch and fasten off. And that's the smoke done. Now I'll just weave in the ends and I'll be back and we'll put it together. Now there's my pieces. I've got the volcano bottom, the volcano top, the smoke and the lava flow. The first thing I do is attach the lava flow to the volcano top. I start at the top here and I first stitch down the side. I put the side even with the volcano top side and then I stitch along the top and then down the side and then I'll stitch the other pieces down. This top part goes up against the edge of that and I'll stitch them down like that and that top bit goes. I'll point it up. Like this one will go down the side of this second section. I will have photos on my website to show how I've positioned it. The next things I do is attach the top of the volcano to the bottom just in like that and the smoke in behind the crater just in there so I'll attach them and I'll be back to show you the finished volcano and there's the finished volcano the size is 15 and a half centimeters by 14 centimeters or 6 inches by 5 and a quarter inches if you've liked my video please like subscribe and share I'm also on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest and Twitter. The details are in the description below, along with the details of my website where I have my patterns, the details of my Facebook group and the details of my Patreon. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Bye.